And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. It's Porto and they face Rio Ave. Thank you, Derek. I was just flicking through my notes at this one. Everything pointing to a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? Well, they've played some marvellous football in front of their own fans this term, and the record speaks for itself, Lee. Yeah, six wins in eight is borderline sacking territory. Shocking record. The manager will be demanding more from his players today. It would really ease the pressure on him and the team with three points here. Here's the starting 11 for Porto. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, there's no great mystery, is there? We know normally how they're going to play, and it's all about applying as much pressure as possible. Lee, can we anticipate seeing more of the same today? Yeah, absolutely, Derek. If you're really good at something, then why not? They're very good at this. All the team members have bought into this style of play. One player slacks off and it all falls apart, though. Uribe. Sergio Oliveira. The ball with Pepe. Uribe. Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. Ivo Pinto. And it's a quality pass. Dangerous looking attack. He's got to score! And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And then from there, the keeper had little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. One nil then. Porto have given it away. Rodrigues. Real danger. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Mbemba. Sergio Oliveira. The ball with Pepe. Uribe. Bad pass. Rodrigues. It's with Tarantini. Tarantini. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. It looks promising. Chance to cross. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Manet. 
Well, nothing productive, really. Just the clearance that was called for. Sergio Oliveira. Otavio. Mateo Suribe. Otavio now. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. And he did well to cut it out. Ivo Pinto. Pelé. And Pinto now. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Tarantini. It's a weighted pass. He's managed to get in behind. And it's still on. Well, they keep passing away. Well, they have it again. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can the players do theirs? They need an equaliser. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Lee. Yeah, he struggled to get the ball in the right areas. I think you could put that down to his teammates a little bit. The service he's got is not up to scratch, but he's also not creating enough space for himself, not making the right runs. It's a poor performance, really, and probably a major factor why they're losing, Derek. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Pepe. The ball with Otavio. Marega plays it back. And it's in! All square again. What a match this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again. Lovely disguise on the cross. The pullback catches out the defenders. And it's a dream of a strike. Lovely languid style. What a goal. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Tarantini. Pelé. Dalla. Carlos Mane. Ivo Pinto. It's with Tarantini. Mane. Dangerous looking attack. Keeping the ball moving. Tarantini. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Pepe. Otavio. Now with Uribe. Jesus Corona. Otavio now. Oliveira. Has a go! Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Will this corner bear fruit for them?
And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. He's driven in the corner. And you need your defender to take charge. Applying vigorous pressure. Did well to win the ball back. Ottavio. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. He's in with a chance. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generated a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Look, a chance to revisit the goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. So there we have it. 2-1. And a throw-in forthcoming. Not had too much of the ball, Porto, have they? But again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. And a tidy tackle. Gabriel Zinho. And there to intervene. 15 minutes remaining. Ottavio. Mbemba. Taremi. And on the ball, Sergio Oliveira. Possession given away, unfortunately. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Well, they worked so hard here to be in front, and that's been recognised by the supporters. They just need to hold on a bit longer to see this out. Sergio Oliveira. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. All hands on deck. And space to cross it. Gabriel Zinho. Adelan Santos. Pelé. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Guga Rodrigues. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Rodrigues. And that is that. Full time here and par for the course, you might say, considering their excellent record on home soil, Lee. Yeah, Derek, and we've said it before, winning becomes a habit. Good habits produce consistent results. That's what this manager and these players have created here. A really positively charged environment to go out and be your best. Lovely to see.